Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Tar Talk Episode 2. This time we are with the gang, Sushi Boy. Hi. And with Zell. Hi. Alright, so <laughs> I'm really, I'm leaving off on an update. So the final update so there's two updates. I just remembered one of them. Uh DJ Colbine, he actually only got suspended for one day, thankfully, and it was not indefinite. Which is good news. So I do rescind that the school board supports rape. Now on to the date. That went nowhere. So um, yeah, that was a really weird experience. I mean, my mom was at the end showed up, and they just had an awkward conversation for like five minutes. And yeah, I don't think I've talked to her much since. Talked to her like a few times. Oh wait, four times. And yeah, that that was about two weeks ago, I think. So, you guys have any opinions? Anything? Any questions and stuff you want to ask? Why was she Asian? <laughs> 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 Why was she Asian? <laughs> uh, well, because she was she was born in Asia. Me, me, me that. So her parents hate her. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, you're so funny. Oh my god. Um, no, uh, I took her out to sushi though. Uh, it, it wasn't on Monday, so yeah. Oh, it was raining. It was rainy as fuck. I mean, it was on a Wednesday we did because Monday I was sick, didn't show up. Tuesday, um, uh, didn't really feel like showing up either. Wednesday I showed up though. Went out for school instead of during lunch. And after that, I took her shopping. And, um, yeah, she didn't really want anything, which was kind of strange for a female. It's like, I thought I thought I was going to have a, uh, a warning on my bank statement saying I've been spending a lot of fucking money. But, nope. Luckily, the sushi didn't cost much. And that's kind of really all I have. It was really rainy. I got soaking wet. Like I was soaking wet on on the on the way to the, I had to stall for an hour because she had a seventh period on Wednesday and I didn't. So I pretty much just walked around the downtown Berkeley for, probably an hour. I I hiked all the way up to the university all around, and I found where the uh, headmaster of UC Berkeley lives. Oh, I think. Yeah, it didn't really go anywhere. I think it was it was a big house. It had do not do not trespass private property metal signs like do not put it on the ground. Like it was a celebrity's house or something. But honestly, yeah, no, that wouldn't that didn't go anywhere. So yeah, I, I guess we can move on to the other topic to where the conversation actually starts. Crazy locales. What is your favorite crazy locale, Sushi Boy? Um, I'm just gonna go with someone basic, probably Chris Chan. Oh, Chris Chan! Man, Chris Chan fucking sucks. I mean, <laughs> let's yeah. be real. Chris Chan's a shitty person. Look at the my the My Little Pony jar. That's such a fucking weird thing. You know, he's he's having a kid, right? Yeah, it, I don't know. Uh, who wants him? No one. Apparently a Finnish girl does. It's like, what the fuck? A she, Finnish girl. I'm not sure. Blonde hair, blue eyes. The Antichrist is being born, dude. <laughs> the Antichrist. Chris Chan's son will be the Antichrist. Trust me. I know this. The Antichrist will be born. The day Christian's son is born is the day that, like, Earth explodes. Probably. Let's be real. I mean, there's other other locales like Cyrex. My friend was showing me a video, Captain Colbine. Uh, he was showing me a video in the middle of lunch for some reason of a doctor giving an analysis of what's this called named Cyrex's body and how fucked up it is. It's called um, 
the autonomy of a goblin because he is he has actual bugs living in his dick. He's just what? like he's just like um um what's his face? He's um, just like me. Oh my god. No. He's like he's like Asmund Gold. Oh my god. Oh the, yeah. Asmund, the the dude who doesn't clean. He, I don't think he does. He I think he showers, but he just Barely. lives. I feel like he has basic hygiene types of the fact where he lives. I mean, he uses a dead decaying rat as an alarm clock uh, uh, alarm clock because like Seriously? when it yeah when the sun shines on it it starts to stink and that wakes him up never mind then what the actual fuck dude that guy needs to get his life together <laughs> twitch banning him was unironically the best thing that ever happened in his life wasn't he unbanned though yeah i think he's unbanned now he got banned <laughs> for just being a normal person though just Speaking out against Twitch, and we're not going to be on that topic for a little while, so let's just move on to, uh, oh, yeah, I actually mentioned this. Chris Chan. Dude is absolutely mentally fucked up and has the weirdest ass fetishes. Like, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if, who wants to take the lead like here? My Little Pony, then it's already pretty, I like, it's a bad start to begin with. Yeah, rough start. Yeah, it doesn't exactly help that My Little Pony's created for a kid audience. Like they all have, uh, they all have personalities that appeal kids, children. Uh, it's bad. It's pretty fucking bad. Crazy fetishes. There are some crazy ass fetishist motherfuckers out there. What are you guys' experiences with them? Um, CG? probably because I've been dominating this I... conversation. I want you guys to lead. I want to see you guys struggle to hold a conversation like me. <laughs> you guys are being um, dragged into this now, also. I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's something along the lines of muff, a smuff, snuff, something. And it's basically just being turned on by big old stinky dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the so, hell? So a lot of the thing around, a lot of the things around it is just like sticking your nose into a into a big stinky sweaty armpit of a guy who doesn't wear deodorant, and apparently that's appealing to some people. I mean, I like boy smell, but, like, no hygiene? Just purposely sweaty? Yeah. No deodorant is, is the terrible part. Boy smells cute, but, like, really that much? No deodorant is kind of a... You gotta have I think snuff. it's called snuff or something. Yeah. Yeah. Snuff. It's It's weird. Mm. And then I'm probably gonna save Zoophilia for last because that's oh um, my god, that's the most that's, fucked that's, up. Yeah, that's pretty fucking bad. The only thing worse than Zoophilia is pedophilia. Yeah, we but can only use that like... right now. Not use it, but n not <laughs> not use it at all. <laughs> we could talk about that right now. I mean, I know a pedophile. It's my dad. What is the most crazy motherfuckers you remember? I met someone who loved knife play. Okay. Yeah, how was that? Yuri from Doki Doki? <laughs> no. <laughs> there was this British, this British femme de la, uh, furry. I still talk to him this day. Or Irish. I call him Irish because he's Northern Irish and it pisses him off, kind of. Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, he he was in a knife play and then a uh, Goro, and it was really fucking weird. Goro? Yeah, Goro. What the fuck it's called? Isn't Can that you just like... elaborate what hentai knife blur? play is? It's a uh, hentai but blood involving. That's Goro. Goro, yeah. Knife play. He knife also play is like what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure. 
it, no, he he liked um he liked more than just that. He liked straight up cutting. Oh. Like he was turned on by it. Yeah, he was. He's he's like a crazy. He was very crazy back then. Now he's a bit more tame, at least. But he he's openly admitting how he just wants to get castrated because how fucked up his mind is. That's how fucked up he is. He thinks mm. that's his only solution to to not being fucked up. I was like, no, dude, you're just just like go check yourself to a mental asylum. Yeah, but it's just but it's just straight weird. You know the crazy thing is he actually has plans after high school. Which is... He's not gonna Damn, that's surprising. I know. He actually is gonna go to college and become an IT dude. It's like why the fuck would you want to work in IT? That thing's depressing. IT so... is like the like oh sorry, mental state killer. Like Dude, my dad does IT. It's like I see what he does. It's like he gets paid that much to do that? Bitch, I could do that. Probably not, actually. Well, one of my close cousins is in college, and he he isn't in IT, but he knows where the IT people are, and he frequently interacts with them. Mm. And it's only the IT people who don't shower at all, and they like have really bad hygiene, really bad habits. And yeah. it's, well, yeah. Yeah, you don't really need to interact with many people when you're in IT. It's a thing. You're mostly online. That's true. It's like it's like a perfect That's job true, for an but g- genuine height, normal human hygiene is, you know, it's yeah, hygiene's a minimum. Yeah. You yeah. gotta have hygiene. A lot of hygiene. I hate sticky people. Me too. I think Musk is kind of cute though. I like that, I'm fine with that. But uh, other than that, no. It's like Hello? If, if you have dirt on Wait, what did you say? Hello? <laughs> My internet went out. <laughs> I thought you said like something a, odd. Like you have schizophrenia just out of nowhere. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wait. How, how, long was I, how, how long was I gone? None. I don't think so. None. But, like, yeah. Straight up, I, I mean, Musk is fine. I just don't like dirt or like any kind of. If if you start smelling bad, there's a lot of sneaky fuckers at my school. Dude, at my school, everyone's gay. It's so everyone's like super clean shit. My school, <laughs> everyone's racist. Dude, uh, mine too. We live so I... close yet so far, and so. so we live so close yet in su- such completely different worlds. I swear to God. It's like... We're not a high school. Because I'm not what? All right. Hold on. Are we are we done with fetishes? Or... Oh, no. We are Can past we move that. on to the next topic? Because at, right. at my All school... Right. Yeah, we're talking about wacky high school stories. High school stories in general. But at my school, everyone's gay. It's like... And at least in my history class, I hear almost all the guys in talk... And they all have that kind of like gay accent. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, it's only that class that has like almost every single guy. And I'm the only one. And I just tell them like, dude, fuck off. I don't like you. I don't like any of you. I don't like the stereotypical gay guys. They're obnoxious. It's the exact opposite in my school. Everybody is straight as can be. I mean, every guy is straight as can be. There's like a ton of LGBTQ women. There's no trans people, but if yeah, it's odd. It, the, really? It's only the women too, dude. All women claim to be bisexual. That's until they actually meet a woman. Not to, let's be real. I don't think I'm actually. Deb- I've debated about this mentally and with other other people. Can a woman? How do I phrase this without coming off? Is that anybody? a fucking pimple? Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't what? think women get along with other women that well, generally. Women's biggest enemy to women is other women. Look at look at bullying what women who get bullied. Wh- who bullies them? Who the perpetrator always is? It's almost always a woman. Women account for fifty percent of misogynistic posts online. Women's biggest threat to themselves is themselves. Yeah, but that's only that's fifty percent. Who's the other fifty percent? Uh, just incels. Oh, Shuds. okay. 
It's like, yeah, that that makes sense. But I mean, look at it. Look at the lesbian abuse rate. Majority, vast majority, have some sort of domestic abuse in relationship. Want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? <laughs> totally. It's funny mm-hmm. enough. Gay guys have lesbians have have a high divorce rate. Same with straight men. Gays have like an incredibly low divorce rate. It's like less than ten percent. Remarkably low. But um, anyways, what are some crazy stories you guys got? This one kid set off firecrackers, and people thought there was a school shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. My friend's it was friend behind put the gym in the hallway. Your friend what? My friend's friend, who's a gay femboy furry, he wears a bad dragon hoodie to school. I'm not even joking on this. Oh god. He Jeez, hasn't gotten in trouble for it though, which is like what the. I fuck? would make fun of him. Yeah, there's also kids who wear uh, alcohol brands. It's like what the fuck, and cigarette stuff, but. Yeah, he puts off every week or so. He puts off stink bombs in the hallway during lunch, <laughs> like at the end of lunch, just so he'll, someone will step on them, and they're really potent. He gets them from I don't remember where the hell he gets. It. I I'm not gonna say where he gets it on a video. Let's be real. Uh, I don't want yeah, anyone doing this. Just gonna but it makes the hallway smell horrible, and all the classrooms in the main academic building smell horrific for about forty minutes. <laughs> so the teachers have to close the door, and even then, it just tortures some people. It's devious as well. But yeah, I also once I put that friend in a, a trash can before, or a recycling bin in the sixth no. grade. He cornered me, and then me and some other people started putting him in. Or I started <laughs> to, then other people like started helping me pick up his shoes, his feet. And then the teacher stopped me once I put him in. Lame, boring. But we, yeah, he, the teacher stopped us before I started closing the lid on him. I was like, "Oh come on, you're ruining the fun." Oh man. Yeah, I know. I sound like that. Oh man, you're ruining the fun, though. Dude, I remember back in like third grade, mm. I was with like two of my other friends, and we were like on the like. Like, for an elementary school, there was this grass section. We kind of just, like, chilled there. And we decided to do a size comparison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always did those in private. I've always been bigger we, than everyone. We did it during re- recess, dude. <laughs> during recess size comparison. Dude, I, I, don't always, remember. I, always, I always saved the size comparison for uh, after school. Like, let me Smart, get... but we were pretty stupid third graders. Am I seriously the only one here that hasn't done any size comparisons at all? Uh, I think so. Have you never seen another guy's get dick in person, though? Thankfully, no. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I Dude, have, you're bisexual. I have, what do you mean, thankfully, actually... no? I mean... <laughs> there's... Nobody around here that I want to see. I want to say. Like everybody's, everybody around here is straight as can be. Fair. But um, the only one that I uh, can remember off the top of my head is in like first grade. In first grade, I was in the year I was taking a piss in the urinal like a normal first grader. Mm-hmm. I think it was first grade. And then some other kid was with me. Then I looked over at his, and I looked over mine, and I said, "Ha ha, mine's bigger." <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, "You know, those women, the women like it small. That way, it's easy to slip in." <laughs> in the first grade, man, that's some first grader is right there. <laughs> Freaky first grader. <laughs> Freaky first. <laughs> Dude, in like fifth grade, this one like sped kid, his name was like Anthony, and he was like Russian or something. But he was like, I think, I think he was not, but he like claimed that he was. And he like took a shit in one of the urinals, and I walked oh, in on him doing it. And then like every time I also had to use the restroom, 
he would like somehow always be there and it was really awkward because he was like he would drop his pants all the way down whenever he took a piss <laughs> Dude, the one time i i admitted that yes i have russian dna that's if people just know me for that oh the, the dude who's probably russian the russian spy never mention that you're russian in a you're a russian a, spy yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> people, people thought i was a russian spy for like a little while i was like oh come on but that was in like the fourth grade. I just said like, "Yeah, no, my my family's from has like, from Russia or something," and yeah, they got got known for that sadly. But I remember in the fourth grade, there was this one kid I really fucking hated. He was like a redneck version of me. Like, we straight up hate each other because of an argument we had over which guns our dad owned, which ones were cooler. That was what we started hating each other. We were so similar. We both loved the same music. We both had the same humor. But we just, we both hate each other. Or more, I hate him. He just disliked me. Oh. And Did you guys like, make it up or you guys still hate each other? No, he moved after the fourth grade to Portland. His, oh. name, his name was Liam. He was like straight up. He was way more popular than I was. I mean, I've always been an outcast. Let's be real. But fourth grade, I think that that was like, I I peaked popularity wise in like the third grade. That's when no. I think I was only me. popular. I was only popular in like second grade because I was a transfer student. Dude, in the third grade, people were just afraid, like to bother with me and my friends. We had enemies. We... Yeah, I think the third grade is my peak. peak. We we had we were em- we were enemies with this feminist group, a group of girls. And it was so wild. We would fight each other. My one of my friends tried poisoning one of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, one of my friends tried poisoning them at, at uh his house when because their moms were friends, and that's like. Luckily, he didn't. And then they got on the news. For something completely different, they they were got they got featured on the news, and, and then we were just so pissed. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't talked. I'm glad that I haven't talked to her or any of those fuckers in a long time. The poison one situation. They're all white women. It doesn't matter. They're they're all they're all wasted. They all had no potential. To be real, white women don't have potential. Um, any other crazy stories? There's this one sophomore I know. His name is Bobby. He's like. An actual geek fest, ooh! Like geek fest. He's he, he's shown up to school zooted as fuck. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> that reminds me. He's also like pretty sped. Like I don't know how to put it. Like he's he's the kind of kid that you would see running down the hallway making stupid noises. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love making stupid noises. Oh my god. But I that reminds me one of the the kid I'm talking about who did the all sorts of fucking crazy the war the bad dragon hoodie. Yeah, he also he shows up to school drunk occasionally. <laughs> he shows up with a hangover. He drinks tequila. He loves tequila. His dad gives him it for some reason. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Luckily, his parents are getting divorced, and his parents are the best. His mom's terrible, and his dad's also terrible. I mean, any parent who gives their kid alcohol, like, what the fuck? That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, so- that reminds me of this. Sorry for interrupting. Oh. Reminds me of this like one girl I knew. Her name was Hana. She was a total bitch. Like, my, who the fuck is DMing me? <laughs> oh, I don't care. It's but she was like a manipulative <laughs> bitch. And she would always come to school like either high or drunk. And it was she was like so annoying because she was the kind of person that would like get upset over the smallest things. And then like not talk to you for days afterwards. Dude, I fucking hate those. It's like so annoying. Who is bothering you or DMing you? 
My friend Ryan, he's talking about fucking YBA. What the fuck's YBA? It's a Roblox JoJo's game. JoJo's <laughs> Bizarre Adventures. Yeah. Is that a fucking JoJo reference? <laughs> All right, I'm stop that. <laughs> Dude, my voice is changing way too much. Um, honestly, yeah. So the guy, his biggest flex is that he fucked a guy once, or, or you know, his biggest flex is he sucked off a guy. He thought I was into him for some weird reason. I don't believe I was. You don't believe it, or are you in denial, or what? No, I, he's he's not very attractive, and he's really fucked up. He's really sped. Ugh. Yeah, he he's like he's actually seems like sped. He actually, seems like everybody from your school is sped, not, according to you. No, no, that's the other other uh, that's still. Wait, what? He, a lot of kids from your school are in sped. It seems. Mine, oh. I uh. Two of the kids interacted for from, or one of the kids interacted from Sped. But yeah, him and he's from Sped. Most people in my school are not. Most people in my school are fucking gay or just really weird. My whole school has a hallway dedicated for special needs kids. Oh, I can do the Jeff. I fucking hate Jeffy. Hey, now I want no one. <laughs> don't don't choke me out. Um. Uh, let's see, number five relationships. Whoa, we've spent a long time talking about uh, stories. Um, who wants to start this off? Sushi, how about you? Okay. I'll start off the okay. Middle East. I have some bold things to say about the Middle East. Jeez, you're just spoiling our whole plot. It's supposed to be mysterious and it's no, the to fuck keep it's not. Hooked. We're supposed to be dark and mysterious. <laughs> oh man, yeah, really? we're supposed to be stigmas. That's why people yeah. are yeah. You gotta be yeah. gotta be alpha Rizzlers, you know. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not very Rizzful. I'm okay, I, I'm a hawk. I'm a ah. Uh, Real. You're a hawk in a world of tuas. <laughs> I'm a hawk in the world of tuas. He hawk on my tua until I, I spit on that tua. thing. All right, we we're, we're getting carried away. We're getting carried away. <laughs> we are getting a bit carried away. All right. Yeah, we gotta lock in and keep our edging down and not. Hopefully we don't goon. Can't forget. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Relationships. Yay. Mm. Um. At least weird thing to talk about. I'm in a relationship. I don't even know which Leo. one I should start out with. There's too many. Talk about your most recent. Who are you currently dating? Um, Canadian fanboy, oh, six foot five. Damn, dude, that's... it. It's Ooh. amazing. Oh my god, lucky you. How long? It's three months, like a week ago. Any plans or something? You gonna go to Canada? Yeah. You gonna go meet him in Canada? <laughs> uh, hopefully, they're coming here. I do not want to go to Canada. I mean, it's too cold. Oh, I love. I have mixed feelings for Canada, actually. I like the coldness. Yeah. I like the darkness, but ultimately, I don't like a Muslim country. Canada's not bad. It's <laughs> just it's right next to America. Why not go to America? It's supreme. Dude, it's Can amazing. Canada is America Junior. Yeah, Canada is like the European version of the U.S. almost. It's it's more of a, it's more Anglo. I don't know what that means, but yeah, British. Oh, yeah, English. Anglo means English. Nerd, dude. I, I'm sorry. I just know a lot about. 
I know a lot about history. Don't call me a history. History. Sorry, I'm just, I just like history. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's literally me. You're so good at doing a me impression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at But it. yeah, me and him have a good relationship. Uh, what should I talk about now? Mm, how about the Polish fanboy? We are talking about him earlier, privately. Oh yeah, him. What happened to him? Him. <laughs> him. <laughs> he, he, he's not bad, it's just... I don't know. I I can't remember how we met, but yeah, we we were friends for a long time, and then apparently he had a crush on me, and he said, one day he popped in my DMs, I mean, we were talking DMs before and stuff, but he popped into my DMs one day and said, I think, I think it was him, I don't know, my, I might be confusing him with another person, but I think he said, hey, I have a... I have some feelings to confess. And then I asked what, and he, he said, I have a crush on you, and I said, oh. Oh, that's not... It's kind of cute, yeah. but... Hmm. Yeah, I didn't feel the same, though. Oh. I mean, I liked him as a friend, but, like, I I wouldn't have complained I to, awesome. you know, have... A relationship with him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't true. even know that you dated him until you didn't today. No, seriously, no, dude. It was the summer of 2023, but it wasn't very long because I couldn't really handle him. Uh, I remember you mentioned how he, he would always complain to you. It's like, yeah, I used to be pretty mean like last year. This year, I've been very calm for some reason. Yeah, I remember you like insulting him. Oh, I just didn't take my my, my our server, and I then think. he would every time that you would be mean to him or insult him, he would yes, come to me in DMs. To be fair, I I'd looked back at our DMs, and it wasn't I wasn't like insulting him; it was more of just kind of being acting really annoyed. I was like, "Just tell him, dude, mm. come on, you should know this answer. You are so." I didn't call him so fucking retarded, luckily. I, I, I looked, I trust me, I looked, I searched up retarded, the word, and that only appeared a few times. A few times. I love that word, but it was mostly a fine relationship. I just couldn't handle it. Mm. I mean, at the time, I was in, I was at uh, summer, I was at Michigan, I was like, you know, I'm just done with this. For had enough. But um, but yeah, he was. His main traits were being clingy, and extremely uh, needy. Self, yeah, yeah, that's extremely a needy and self degrading. Self degrading. See, I he was suicidal a he was, lot. He was, yeah, and. He would always come to me for it, and I was like, oh, God, I don't know what to do. Exactly. I, I tried so, helping him at first, but after a while, I just couldn't because I just got no progress. And I started getting frustrated, and I just couldn't. Yeah. I saw no progress. He he wouldn't take up any of my advice. He was too afraid to do much. I feel really bad for him. Yeah, he's a, he's a really good person. It's just he— He's a very nice guy. I, I liked him a lot. Pity party. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. I, mean, I don't want to be mean, but it sounds pity like a party. pity party. You're right, it is. <laughs> I think there's, an, there's, a, there's a guy I talk to still like that, my exes, and um, dated him for about a year and a half, almost two, I think I think just under two years, and when I was 13 to 15, and really, he, he, he was a neo-confederate chud. Like, he was straight up He's 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 that person who straight up wants to be back slavery. I learned that later on. I was like, oh my god, this dude's fucking mentally insane. But we got along well until we started drifting apart. After I started becoming more creative again, less drawing, more towards music, and then that's really when we started to divide a lot. And I I just didn't really like him that much anymore. He's an alright person though, I guess. 
He's just really fucking traumatized. Luckily, I wasn't too mean to him. We were both retarded as fuck. You well. mean? No, we both were mean to each other in like a passive aggressive uh. time. <laughs> but we mostly got along. That was like, it was an unhealthy relationship before. Like it was unhealthy and unrealistic. And I think most of my love for him was out of pity, to be fair. Ugh. Because he lived pretty sadly. He had no it's not friends. Very, nah. I don't know, I used to have a thing for losers, I think. But there isn't... What? I used to have a thing for losers, I think. I like loser girls, kind of. Yeah, uh -huh. um, if you're a loser girl listening to this, uh, Fire Husky really loves you. And uh, you should comment. No, no, no please don't. Please, he please would love don't. it. I mean, I'll talk to you. I'll say hello, but... Talk to her. <laughs> talk to, I'll talk to her, you. But if she don't talk to her, I'll talk to her. But, like, don't spit her. on that thing, though. What you will or you won't? I won't. Like, don't spit on that thing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you can hit, hit, hit up uh, Sushi Boy if you want. <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, thank you. Oh yeah, you're in an open relationship with that Polish friend boy. <laughs> I remember that. Oh yeah, for like Smith. a week. You just weren't because you didn't like him that much. I don't think. Honestly, you he was just hard to that. deal with, and he said. He said himself that, hey, um, would it be okay if I also dated this one guy? And I was like, oh, okay, sure. Yay. Good for you. Yeah, that one guy was me. <laughs> that... that was, oh my god, that was you? Yeah, you're just finding this out? He told, he told me that he was dating some guy and then... He never told me who it was. I didn't ever think that it was you. Really? No, he never told me. He knew that we were friends, too. Did he? It's kind of messed he, up. But you know that uh, he he talked to me, right? Yeah. I just didn't know that y'all ever Damn. were together. I think, I think it was for like a two week, three. No, it was three weeks. Short, very, <laughs> yeah. very short. He was too unstable. Oh, my God. And I remember he must have told one of our mutual friends because me and me and Quas, we had a few mutual friends, a couple of them. Well, one of them I still talk to to this day. And one of them was this gay European furry from Germany, mm. like extremely gay. That's one hell of a mouthful. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I want to. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that. Never mind. But um, uh, <laughs> who gives a fuck, dude? This is this is tart talk. We talk about tarted things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tart on that cock. But anyways, he, me, and him had been talking prior. Not exactly good, cause, not gonna lie, I think he had a crush on me. Hmm. And he didn't know my age at the time. I think he was 19 and I was 13 Ew. or 14. He didn't know my age. And <laughs> he was giving me the casual role play actions like um, slips it in, hugs, uh, cuddles, nuzzles. nuzzles your chest. Yeah. Just that stuff, and then once I finally told him my age, he was like, he asked me one day, he was like, hey, how old are you? And I said, 13. And he said, oh. And we didn't speak for a day, and I was like, hey, man, if you... Oh, shit, what did I say? I don't know, I can't remember, but he ended up... He ended up saying something like, Oh, yeah. I said, hey, if you're not talking to me just about the age thing, just tell me so. And then he he said, yes, it was because of the age, but I don't know. I didn't know how to tell you. And then he deleted it after before I could, before I could save it. I didn't think I'd have to save it because I knew I thought I could trust him. 
but he ended up deleting that message and lied about the whole thing. Bruh, come and on, scummy. It's fucked up. Yeah. And he said, I quote him on this, I would never lie to a friend. I always tell the truth. That's that, that's just awful. But yeah, um, that's the tabs that we were on before he found out Quas that I allowed Quas to have an open relationship with you. Oh. But yeah, and then he came to me and said, "Hey, why did you let Quas have an open relationship?" And I. Said, uh, it it takes me a minute to think. I'm half asleep right now. Sorry. So wake good. up. <laughs> um. What the fuck? The hell is that? Lobotomy noise. That shit woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will I play it the way you guys from my house. <laughs> um. <laughs> But yeah, I said, he said he wanted to, and I, don't, I didn't know how to say no. And he said, I, I think he actually ghosted me after that. Like, he didn't say anything at all, which is also Quas? scumbag behavior. Yeah. No, 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 not Quas. Oh, the, German guy. Yeah, German gay First furry. off, German is a red flag. Don't, tr don't trust the uh, Krauts. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust those damn Germans. Yeah, that, that's okay. Good for you, buddy. I'm joking. I, there's a there's a few all right German people. <laughs> a few. There's plenty of good German people out there. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I look, I look fucking Aryan as hell. Aryan super soldier. That's literally me. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's Captain America? Aryan. He was a femboy. Who is Captain America? You said Super Soldier, so. Oh, the fucking Soldier Boy. That twink. That twink. <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. Any any more stuff on relationships we should talk about? I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, I need to finish the Quas thing. Oh yeah, so basically after talk that about. we still. We still um were dating for a couple months, maybe three after that. And we all was going good and well, and then all of a sudden he stopped messaging me. And I still had this friend, his friend that contact that had contact with him in real life. So I messaged her about it, and she was all like, "Oh yeah, uh, Kwasa's parents are extremely homophobic, mm. and they checked his phone." Oh. So yeah. Yeah, he's from East Poland. Yeah. Orthodox. So, that poor guy. That poor guy, I know. He was so yeah, friendly. I, I, he was. He was just a silly fella. Silly goober. Dude, he wanted to come to America <laughs> badly. He did. But. Or at least me, I, uh, Germany. At least Germany, he said. To me, at least. <laughs> Yeah, he said, um, all was doing good and well last time I checked in with him. Because that friend in real life, he, she gives me updates about him every once in a while, whenever I ask and stuff. That's good to hear. Yeah, so he's doing good. So, so hooray. So, so what's your history and stuff? Huh? What's your Wait, history what? and stuff? Your turn. You didn't talk in this entire um, segment. Yeah. Cause... Which is fun. Um, I don't really have much to talk about this time around. Um, you've mentioned to me that you have, you've had relationships before, right? I have, yeah. Uh, I think my worst one was like this one girl. Her name was Aubrey. Another stereotypical white girl. Oh, uh, white girls. Yeah, she was like white, blonde. Um, and I dated a lot of girls with Pudge now that I realize, realize Damn, how many it. girls did you date? Too many. Girls don't like me. I like you. Oh, I like you too. But, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, shit. Um, this fuck already. Is. So, like, 
I I dated her, right? And I think this one was like closer to um like the end of middle school somehow. And like she basically manipulated me into like giving her money, which is kind of, kind of like why I'm so broke. And oh, all your savings. Yeah. See, and know. she like went on a cruise and for fucking for eighth graders i got pretty explicit photos but like she like found this random ass guy that she met on the cruise and then my friend lucas thank the lord he told me but like she was fucking making out with him in the rain with his shirt off what the fuck yeah, it was pretty fucked up. And, like, that shit fucked me up because I don't deal with, like, loss or, like, losing someone that I, like, am passionate about because, you know, yeah, it's a hard thing to to deal with. But Ooh, that must, that must now it fucked me up. And I, I, like, I got her a bunch of gifts, too. I spent, like, $600. $600, man. Like, just yeah. try to do... I've never treated you that bad. Oh my god, that's horrible. I mean, it's it's, it's fucked me up big time. Yeah, that. But, that's that's pretty fucking sad. How many X's do you yeah. have? Like seven or something? Six. Six. Damn, that's a lot. Well, the way more yeah. than what that. About you, Fire Husky. How many do you have? Ooh. Oh wait, no. There was one girl who liked me. All right, so I actually mentioned this in a video at the beginning of Cursed Anime Review 15. Uh, this was absolutely bizarre as fuck. Um, so schizophrenic e-girl, schizophrenic black e-girl. Uh, yeah, basically, she really liked me. I, I, so uh, she, the, the short answer is um one, two, three, three. I would say. But long answer, I have an interesting story to tell. Basically, she uh, she she's really fucking mentally ill. She's actually schizophrenic, and that ended about a week ago. I just told her I can't commit, and yeah, it was a second time. I don't know. Why I messaged her again. My fault on re-messaging her. Oh no, I think I just wanted to say I was sorry for how I ended. It's kind of ignoring her, but <laughs> then blocking her. I had a I had a, a girl help me, kind of deal with that entire situation. She wanted to insult her, but she kind of already knew stuff about her because I mentioned I talked about my real life to her, and yeah. But I mean, that's kind of all I have. I'm not single, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no one nope. here is single. Oh yeah. Yay. <coughs> Yay! Never mind. Jesus, I I cough really bad. But that reminds me of this like one relationship I was in. Um, her name was Cassandra, and she was like she was Latina, so I'm not an all white dater, but she she wasn't super bad, but she would make jokes about like what's the word like. Oh, this guy's so much better. And it's like, why, why, why make jokes about that? It, it, it was really like off-putting. It, it was. I would it, like, it, like personally. No, I, I didn't. I like told her like, hey, it's kind of fucked up, dude. And she was like, what are you gonna do about it? I was like, well, I don't know, cause I don't have the like, heart to end it with most people. Dude, and same. they always end up ending it. I only end then, things when I just don't feel like I can talk to them. Yeah. So it's like she was one of my good friends since like mm. elementary school as well. That's so mean. Why would a, why would a close friend do that? I don't know. Like she didn't use me or anything, but she would always like make Did jokes you feel about inferior? like abandoned. Yeah. Do I hate and that? I I've got a pretty big fear of abandonment. Dude, same. Dude, I hate. I mean, I, I really try to avoid da dating, 
friends or close friends because it's a, a bigger chance than not that you guys are going to end up splitting and breaking up and that's just going to ruin the whole relationship. Oh, yeah. also if you're Relax. in a friend group. Yeah. If you're in a friend group, it's going to screw over everyone else in the friend group because it's going to be like a practically a divorce pretty much. Yeah. Because yeah. a friend group is just going to split in half. Side. Who, who likes who? Who likes who more? That reminds me. This friend group that I'm like not really a part of anymore because they're weird. It consists of this like really leftist like girl. Her name is Emma, and I, God, I fucking, fucking hate her guts. guts. And like, it's not because of her political views or anything. It's just like how she acts as a person. And then there's this Arab girl, Leia. Um, one of my exes, Haley, she's like the weird zoo rape one. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And like Haley will make really like really fucked up sexually charged jokes. And Emma is like known for being this like accommodate or not accommodate like what's the word advocator for like really like left facing views but whenever Haley makes something that like would normally go against that emma turns a blind eye and it's just like the most like annoying thing ever oh my god like, the classic case of the progressive not holding up to their own standards hmm yeah. really wonder i've seen that the government the government the government the government i want to fucking bomb the government <laughs> fuck in minecraft really like <laughs> those two those two are like super problematic because like Haley turns almost every conversation sexual. Like, every. Dude, that's terrible. You can't have an actual conversation. No. She'll find some way to bring, like, either sex or, like, depression into it. It's, like, so annoying. Like, be be normal. And, like, she makes excuses, like, oh, my mom got a terminal illness, but it's because my mom doesn't even take care of her own body that well. Oh, it's, like... God. She sounds insufferable. She is. I don't know how I put up with her. See, I just don't talk to girls in general. I, I don't even have. I don't have a friend group. I have like. I have two friends at school. No, now one. I don't think Captain Colbine likes me anymore. Uh, Damn. I showed him pictures of me cross dressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, chat. Have I shown you? Let me show you. Let me show chat. I don't think I've shown it. So, Look away. Look away while you can. Uh, Look away. <laughs> We'll watch a different video. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, do, guys want to rail me, so. Guys guys think I look cute now, so. I mean, who's really winning here? Me. Sure. But, I'm winning. yeah, so I have, like, one, one friend now, so. Uh, and I hardly talk to her. So, Ooh, um, it's a her. Ooh. Yes, yeah, it's the, the girl that I went uh took out for sushi. Oh yeah. And uh that that went nowhere. Like expected to be honest. But um any any more okay. things to add on to relationships? No. Um I could do crazy X. Oh, uh, what's it that I actually? talked to you guys about earlier? If you guys want, sure, go for it. All right. So, this girl moved to into our um into our town in fourth grade, I think, and she went to school in my school because we live in a small town of under three thousand, I think. So there's only a co. There's two elementary schools one middle school and one high school through two towns because two town our two towns have uh kind of combined not into one but the school districts anyways i'm making this super boring so i'm just gonna speed it up anyways in sixth grade we were really good friends and not gonna lie she had a disability that made her kind of smaller than everyone it wasn't dwarfism but it it was level below dwarfism, I guess. I don't know. But we were 
we were really good friends. We'd always hop on Roblox and stuff like normal children would. And then one day on Discord, she told me, hey, I have something to confess. I think it was her instead of Quas that said that, actually. But yeah, they said that and confessed that they had a crush on me. And I said, oh, I feel the same, too, because just uh, Zell, are you I didn't want to. What? Is Zell humming? Yeah, I think so. I'm humming Absolute Territory by Ken Ash Corp. Oh, my God. Sorry. Dude, that's so epic. <laughs> it's so it's so catchy. I know. Okay, yeah. Continue the mm. But yeah, I didn't wanna hurt her feelings. I didn't know how to say that I didn't feel the same, so I said, Hey, I have a crush on you too. And then so we dated like the first week. <laughs> Literally all our messages were just hearts and it just cringe stuff and then we started to space out more and more and then she had to move away to florida did you end up which is across huh did you ever grow up having to have feelings to for her or... yeah i had feelings for her but not exactly girlfriend level i'd say close friend level more than they were before we started dating, but you can just say you don't like someone, but I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, but we were really close friends, and that would have really that yeah, would have lost right me another friend. Yeah, it would have been awkward because we were both part of a friend group, so that wouldn't have been very good. But yeah, she moved away. We were still talking for a couple weeks. And then she pulled the classic. Well, my mom said that I have to break up with you because blah, blah, blah. I can't even remember what it was about. But yeah, then we broke up. I was somewhat sad, sad for little to no reason. I mean, that was just because we would talk. That was just because I knew that we would be talking less and less. And mm -hmm. I enjoyed talking to her. Other than the fact that you, she used to suicide bait me. Wait, she was that one? Like, yeah. That's like, bad. towards... Oh, maybe a month before she moved away, she started suicide baiting me and playing with my feelings. And like, if you don't do this, or if you don't say this, or, oh, I'm gonna do this. And it was mostly suicide mm. and self-harm. And I didn't, I, I barely even knew what any of that was at the time. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, she's going to do it. Because I was a, just a wee little child. Dude, I was talking about suicide <laughs> at fucking uh, seven. I put a gun to my mouth at, in the fourth grade saying, I'm going to fucking blow my brains against the wall if I have to go to school. That, <laughs> that's Dude, interesting. <laughs> I was called emo in fucking elementary school. I mean, they weren't wrong. <laughs> I mean, I was literally screaming uh, the lyrics to uh, Famous Last Words. Saying, oh my mm. god, this is s fucking the greatest song ever. Or th oh, I think it was Ghost of You. No, no, it was Ghost of You. Oh, that's a good song. You're never gonna know, never gonna know, should I, should I. I used to listen to that song and... Fifth grade, I think. I understand but, yeah. the song more. Dude, the entire uh album, Three Trees for Sweet Revenge, is so fucking peak. You know the story of it, right? No. Elaborate, please. Oh. I guess we're into the, the we're gonna talk about music now for a little wait, bit. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, we on. don't have to do this in important, order. Important important detail, important detail before we close off. Oh, all right. But um <sighs> yeah, sorry. A, like a month. Or two weeks, three weeks, I don't know, after we broke up. I mean, no. Yeah, after we broke up, she said that she found a new guy. And she said that he was 19. And keep in mind that we were, like, 13 at the time. So she was, that was, that's illegal. She was dating a pedo. I don't know if she still is now. 
but yeah. And then a couple months Dude, after. Florida, everyone there is a sex offender. What? It's Florida. Everyone there is a sex offender, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no wonder. Moves to Florida, starts dating a pedophile. Hmm. Who would have thought? <laughs> Yeah, for Florida guys. It's like for Florida, that's like that's like being a being a pedophile in Florida is like being a pedophile in Japan. It's like it's like, yeah, it may not be majority, but it's like a significant amount of the population. Mm. By the way, five percent of Japan's openly pedophilic. Like they are openly emitting that. That's wild. Five percent of a first world nation. But anyways, you know the story for three cheers for sweet revenge, right? No. Zell, do you know it? Huh? Wait, what? Do you know the story for Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge? No, I haven't heard of it. Wait, you've never even heard of the album? No. You know My Chemical Romance, right? Yes. You heard about the news about the drummer? I know, that, that, that's, we'll talk about that in a bit, but Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge is um the story about... So the continuation's off of the end of the first album... I gave you my bullet, or what the fuck is um, the the dude Houdini hanging off of? It's a really fucking cool album cover. Uh, I gave you my bullet, or you gave me your love. I gave you my bullets, but uh, the song "Demolition Lovers." It's about it's a continuation off of that song. It's about a uh, a husband who wife and wife who would die, or a husband who dies gets shot. And uh, he has to kill nine hundred or one thousand souls before uh, he gets to go back to heaven or earth and meet her again. And basically, the devil he do, he does a deal with the devil, and the devil scams him. So that's why the Sounds ending like- of the album is so dramatic. It's a it, there's more a lot more detail to it. A dude gets sexually abused in the meantime. Yeah. Um gets all sorts of have to go through all sorts of trouble and then in the end he just gets scammed by the devil so it happened to me once oh really when uh just a couple days ago you know just casual business i mean i was originally playing is this like a, is this like a joke or is this dead ass mm, dead ass that happened to me i got scammed by the devil oh oh man <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, you heard about the news about Bob Byer, Bob Breyer's death. Mm-mm. Oh shit, man! No. no one knows about him here. <laughs> Anyways, since we're on the topic of MCR, I think we should move away from music until the end. Most of you guys don't want to talk about music then. Um, I just don't know much. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, that's fair. I'll teach mm-hmm. you some. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, but basically, Bob Breyer was the drummer for My Chemical Romance until he got kicked out in 2020, or 2009, 2010. You got it. Yeah, 2010, and, was it nine? He kind of, it's kind of a mutual agreement, because he wasn't a right fit. He was also kind of aggressive, and a lot of tension. He didn't like the direction of their future album, Danger Days, but, so he died, he was found dead on the 20th. Second, third, wait, twenty second, wait, twenty six, but he was only uh reported on, it was only released publicly like today this morning, so it was all over the news. Bob Breyer died, and uh, he was suicidal, and they found drugs around his room, but all of his guns were in the safe, so it was probably a drug overdose. Sounds like it. Anyways, what are your guys' thoughts on the Middle East? Dirty, dirty. <laughs> so, see, unlike you guys, I actually have some stake in this because uh, my grandparents live in um, North Israel. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm not joking. They actually do live in Israel. My uh-huh. grandma and my step-grandpa live in, um, live in Tel Aviv. Not in Tel Aviv, they live in like the hills or mountains or something. They get What's snow. the difference between Iran, Iraq, and Afghanistan and Pakistan and all those Ooh. countries? Is all there right. a difference? What's, all right, all the all the Muslim countries are like all of um, the Eastern Middle East. 
Pakistan and Afghanistan are completely different. Afghanistan is um well you can look up Lord Miles. He t- he talks a lot about Afghanistan. He lives there now. Uh, they're controlled by the the Taliban, but and then there's Pakistan, which is just India too. It's like they're the rape capital. They 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 are the most degenerate nation. Pakistan Pakistan is extremely degenerate. They have they lead the searches of most fucked up things to be looked up. Child pornography. They they look up all sorts of shit like that. They were the top searches for that shit. Top searches for zoophilia. Top searches for like rape, shit like that. Especially in the two thousands, two thousand ten. See some content is like fucking disgusting, dude. Actually, I'm not gonna call them Indians. They're the Pajits. In, in Indian belongs to um, the Native Americans, I think. Personally, that makes more sense. Yay. Yeah, you guys get something for once. Yay! No, we got reservations too. Yeah, that, that's. I love seeing fireworks off of that. Um, cause you can't do it in California, <laughs> except on reservations. Or at least, I do it at least in my county. I launch illegal fireworks. Dude, me too. I have M five thousands or five hundreds, I think. Dude, my cousin is Waldo. Ooh, cherry, he cherry bombs got like, epic. huh? Cherry bombs are epic. Real. My cousin Osvaldo got arrested like twice. One was for um unregistered firearm possession, <laughs> and then the second was like illegal fireworks and setting oh, off. <laughs> I mean, illegal fireworks. That's like it's like such a petty crime. It's like really. It really is. Like, Seriously, he's getting please, taken in for that. Like, I get show my illegal firearm. Well. Yeah, maybe. I'm still 1984. I'm like, not gonna lie. What the fuck do I have to register my gun to the government? Fuck the government. But um, yeah, fireworks. Come on. Anyways, so Zell, what is your thought on the Middle East? Um, I don't really have a say about much in the Middle East because, um, I don't know many middle eastern people and i like haven't done any research on the middle east oh you don't feel you don't feel like educated enough huh you don't feel educated enough no i'm not educated i did i've read so many books on the middle east i swear to god so my grandma always gives me one whenever whenever she comes and visits she always gives me a giant book on israel it's like yeah thank you i'm gonna put this in the pile of the other ones it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around to reading it and like meet me next month. Because then I'm still there's always more. One. But oh yeah, the wars. Uh, sushi boy mistake. Do you think? Do you have an opinion on any of those stuff? Any of the wars or yeah, uh, Middle wars, East, Middle East, and Middle Eastern wars. Uh... Come on, say controversial shit already. Um. Don't be afraid to be bold. Um. Um. Uh. Be you. Come yay, on. war. That's a. I have no. I have no thoughts. No opinions. Woohoo! Death, manslaughter, violence, <laughs> sexual assault. So you have no yay. opinion on, on Hamas or Israel or Gaza or no opinion on. I don't Iran. know enough to have an opinion. I would do research, but it's twelve twenty-three a.m. Dude, actually, it's one twenty-three a.m. I'm um, actually oh, fuck you. You just um, you can actually, just do a quick I'm search. Actually, I wouldn't recommend doing a quick search. It's going to be like where the newest story is. But yeah. Oh yeah, I was I was watching the news when they did the first report on it. So oh. that was pretty sick, but oh, but yeah. <sighs> The, f- the first report on October um, 7th. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so basically it started, Hamas launched an attack in Israel at a concert, and Israel retaliated pretty much just declaring full war on Hamas, or it, it escalated very quickly, though. Not initially full war, but eventually it got to full war. Because, uh, I mean, Israel's kind of been attacked before. They got attacked in 2020, lightly, but this was like a massive escalation, though. So they want a full invasion to Gaza. They're probably going to occupy Gaza. I thought the war... 
me and my step grandpa both thought the war would end by August because I was planning to spend New Year's in Israel last year, but um, the war fucking happened. Hamas just <laughs> had to launch those goddamn. Hamas and Lesbon just had to do those rockets. Just had to ruin my New Year's plan to spend New Year's in Jerusalem. That would have been so I mean, fun. So are fun. your grandparents safe at least? Oh yeah, they're safe. Israel's everyone in Israel's mandated to have a bunker. Ah. Uh, also, they're in the a low priority target area. Like, uh, they're, they're they live in like a mostly retired people area. Okay. They, they don't live in a city. I want to go visit them though. I want to see if I can visit this them next year. Song. But yeah. um. Yeah, uh, that's all there is. What do you guys, do you have any fears about World War Three? Yeah, I don't want to die. Dude, real, I don't want to die. I'm not going to get drafted. Both of us are too retarded and autistic to, to get drafted. Real. I think all three of us are, right? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> you know? I'm just going <laughs> to purposely fail my eyes up. That way they can't get me. Hey, if you're going, I'm going. I'll just yeah. like if, I don't... if they if they answer or if they knock at my door, I'll answer and I'll be like, "Hello, <laughs> hello, friend. <laughs> you want my bed party with me?" <laughs> yeah, if they come over, I'm just gonna uh, purposefully fall and break my leg. That way, they can't take me in because I'm crippled. That <laughs> that seems like a master plan. Real. Do I was like just the, you said hello, friend. <laughs> 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 hello, friend. <laughs> <Start acting. laughs> Want to see my trade collection? Want to see my Pokemon cards? <laughs> I like twack those. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I wouldn't go die in World War Three. Not gonna lie, I used to think. I would possibly I, w- I would serve if I got drafted or volunteer for War Three, but now I again regain consciousness and I hate the government again. Like I, I realize the government wants me dead, so I don't want to play into that. Dang. Yeah, want wants all three of us dead. Let's be real. The government. Oh, they want me dead. What the flip. What the freak. It's okay. Well. I'm not gonna talk like... about fringe conspiracy theaters. I'm not. I'm not trying to get my this video taken down, but um, to say the least, you two or to say the least, the government is not um Ooh. very. They, they they don't friendly. really like. Yeah, they're not very friendly. They don't. They they are very against people who are not part if, of the government. They if want... you're not normal, you're not allowed. No, if you're not one of them, you're not allowed. That and yeah, that's more societal. But um, any thoughts about Ukraine stuff? Boo war! Yay war! <laughs> My God, you guys are so uneducated about this. But you guys wanted to talk about the Middle East and World War Three. Okay, okay. To be fair, that was all mistake, not me. I was just, what was I doing? Um, um. You were pissing in the bathroom. Yeah, I was pissing. <laughs> well, fine. to be fair, that was like an hour ago, and it's one thirty in the morning, and I can't think of things off the straight top of my head. Mm. Well, this is all your fault, mistake. Whoopsies. <laughs> I guess on? you could say you're a mistake. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, a oh, mistake. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, hello, man. Man. <laughs> that is so <laughs> fucking hilarious. The way you said it, though, <sighs> it's so catchy. Like, uh. hello, man. <laughs> you want to see my Minecraft pickaxe collection? <laughs> you want to play Sonic with me? <laughs> Do you play Sonic with me? Oh my. God. Dude, it's always, like, special needs kids that like Sonic. Dude, why? I don't get that. 
don't know. There was this one kid at my school. His name's Steven. He's like a pretty big perv. And he's like really retarded. Like he would sit in front of the girls' locker room during PE. And Ew. just like watch them come out. And he would always wear like this really stupid like Sonic shirt. And that's what made me not like Sonic. I'm did he have? Did he by chance have a, a Sonic Two? Um, did Did he have a Sonic Two necklace or what the fuck it's called? No, he didn't. Ah oh, man, but, dude, he needs Sonic Two. But he had the Chris Chan hair, so. Oh, future Chris Chan. <laughs> Maybe he's he's retarded. He's perverted. Dude, he is future Chris Chan. Bro is literally Christian. Dude's view, dude's dude's baby Christian. Oh my god. Wait, he's Antichrist. <laughs> but um anyways. Why do you guys think Huck Tua sucks? <laughs> I think that's What do you mean? I, I, love I know it. why. I love it's a rhetorical Huck. question. I love it. I love it. I, I I love the Hot Two podcast. I I listen to it every day while drinking Prime and eating my one sweet. and I, I I just love it. Dude, you sound like a fat Walmart kid. Oh my god, he's an iPad kid. iPad kid, even worse. Not gonna lie, I think Hot Two is a fucking scam. I have never seen her spit on that thing. Hot Two is so funny. What? I I I love it. She's what never I? spat on a thing. Wait, I think it was a sex tape that her leaked. Octua, spot on the fine. Why does every <laughs> shitty celebrity get a sex tape leaked? Like, Destiny got a sex tape leaked recently. Who's Destiny? Oh my fucking... Um, it's not important. I'll, t- okay. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you later if you want to know still. Okay. Um, yeah, hot to a girl. Yeah, she's an absolute fraud. She doesn't even uh-uh. like the spit on that thing. It's a mid joke to begin with. Whoever gave her fame needs we we need reparations from him. Haley Walsh is not a sigma. He'll, you, you dude, don't, don't even understand. ever say her name. Her name should not be known. She should just be known as the hot to a girl. The girl who said that's like ew. Disrespect. Do you guys oh. know if she does birthday parties? I think she does do birthday parties for her. <laughs> Dude, you have a super chat. Spit on my thing. <laughs> Dude, I really want to play like a horror game right now, and then just like scream, <laughs> scream, and then, and then get yelled at by my mom. <sighs> if I scream right now, they're not gonna come up to my room. Ah, they don't care about. My room is connected to my sister's room and my mom's room. Oh, yeah, and my walls are very thin. I mentioned my sister. Oh, fuck, when? Last time, like... Oh, yeah. Oh! Don't I was me. also in the VC, like, earlier, and I said, Hi, Monkey, because that's the nickname I have for my sister. Oh, wait. Oh, my God, you call her a fucking monkey? Yeah, she does gymnastics and she's good at the bars. Oh. So, do you still want to talk about weird cringe role players or? Uh, well, I don't know anything about role players. Neither do I. To be honest. I've come across a ton of cringy role players on VR chat. It's depressing. I have a knife on my table. Oh. I've got to put that back to my old table or my. God, yes. <laughs> Why I'm, I'm working on my, I'm right. working on that wood project. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that knife needs blood. Dude, it's a wood knife. It's it, a whittling knife. I can show you. It's um, it's inches thick. Um, it's like two and a half, or three. Ooh, that's pretty big. I, that's it's a pretty really sharp average. knife, though. But it's made for carving wood. I thought you were talking about the log, not the knife. Oh, the log? Oh, he... dude, the... I've whittled the, the log. Damn. Don't worry, I'll show you. I think I'll have the log done, like, really soon. You're a fast worker, dude. Damn. I know. Are you by chance Mexican? 
Am I? I'm Mexican. I'm not, dude. I'm white as fuck. I oh mean, yeah. I, I have like some Spanish DNA, but I don't think I'm Mexican by any chance. Spanish just because of uh, uh what's it called Sephardic. Oh no, not Spanish. Then this is Sephardic. They lived in um Iberia and North Africa. Damn. Oh my god, I'm African. What's up? <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right. Already. Should I end the video? <laughs> Might as well. What's up, my? N <laughs> <laughs>